Hello friends, today we are going to see how to draw simple object by using Fusion 360. Uh, you can see here I have drawn a glass type object. Uh, let's see how we can draw that. So I'm just going to take a new design. Uh, by looking at the design, you can see that uh, I have used only few commands. I have used a loft command and then I have used shell command. And uh, after that, I have uh, also used this fillet command. And uh, you must be wondering how the uh, material of the glass is different. Uh, it's because we can change the material by using this command, appearance. You can change the uh, appearance of the uh, object or you can also change the physical material of the object. Uh, let's see how we can do that. So at first, I'm going to uh, use loft command and for using loft command, I need uh, two parallel planes and uh, two parallel faces. So for that, let me first create a sketch on this plane. I'm going to draw a circle. Uh, let's say it's of 60 mm. Okay, then I'm going to construct an offset plane which is parallel to this face. Mm, let's say about 70 mm. On this plane, I'm going to draw another circle of 80 uh, mm diameter. Now we have two faces. Let's join them by using loft command. Okay. Now we have to remove the material inside. For that, we can use shell command. Select a face to remove the material from. Specify the thickness. Uh, let me specify it. Uh, yes, that's enough. 3 mm. Okay, uh, it looks like a glass. Uh, now you must have seen the edges are uh, smoothened for your glass. So let's just do that. I'm going to use fillet command. So it should be constant radius. Uh, I'm going to specify the radius adds about okay, to 3 mm. Okay. Uh, now again, let's also smoothen out these edges. Yeah, I have selected both these edges. Now I'm going to smoothen them out. Okay, it looks uh, like a glass. Now let's see how we can change the material. We have to go to this uh, appearance and uh, see here you can select the, uh, what kind of material do you want for your object? So if I select glass, you have to drag that to your object. Okay, 
let's use uh, let's use this one mm. this one looks good right okay so we have designed a class by using few simple commands uh, next time we'll try to design a more complex object for now we'll stop here thank you